Otis came here as a resident for the project. Ghana has the highest rate of twins in the entire world, almost 30% higher, double than any place else. And he was going to do a pro excuse me a project of twins, which he did. And you'll see them before the Amarco room. There are the, the three portraits, three sets of portraits of twins. And then we asked him, we said, is there anything you want? Do you have a dream that you a project you always wanted to do and never had the opportunity to do it? And he said, yes. He said he wanted to make these large paintings of black cowboys. Uh -huh. And and we said, we said, have you ever done any work in that? So I said, no. He said, I said, can you do it? And he said, I'm a little afraid to. So what we did is we stretched three canvases. And at night, he did his work in the last building down there. At night, we uh, put three canvases on the wall with a forklift. But the next day he came and he, he loved it. He made the pictures. But how did you discover him? Indirectly, Amwako was from Wafu was from Ghana, and he, and he said, "I have a, a great friend who's a, a wonderful artist." And he said, mm, "Fine." And then we went to see his work, and there were and uh, he had a show at Bennett Roberts in L.A., and the work was really really, really good. And so we met him and we spoke to him and met him a few times, spoke to him on the phone. Very sincere, interesting history of how you, how do you become an artist in Ghana? Because there's no real school. There was a sort of school that he studied at. And then he actually got most of his training because there are no movie posters in Ghana. The artists paint original paintings for the movie yes. post. And so he used to do, you know, one, two, three every week. And that's how he became so facile at, at uh, the painting. And he handled the scale amazingly well. When you think about it, it's kind of like the scale of a poster. Exactly, but all, all the painting in the room is so large. By accident. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. It worked. It, we, we saved that room for large paintings because the scale tolerates it so well. But also the King Wiley is very large. The King Wiley kind of... No, the, yeah, the King Wiley started the scale in that room. And then um, Bon Spawn, the, the Black Rainbow, did a work in that room. And Oscar Murillo, who was a resident, one of our resident artists did a whole series of paintings in that room. So it sort of became a large scale room. He's very impressive. He's, he's, and he's an incredibly, incredibly nice guy. I don't, I don't know if you met him. He's wearing a white outfit with a gaucho hat on. I mean, he's quite a character. Merci.